Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, it's finally here, the last component. That box is the tower, the Rosewill Thor V2 Black. And I am now going to get this thing opened up. This thing is huge. It, it really is, it's fracking huge. Remember uh, the shipping weight on it is like 30 pounds. Just for the towel. Okay, let's see. Alright. No way I'm lifting it out of there. I may actually have to turn this upside down. There's styrofoam packing there to protect it, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Apparently there's an inner box. There we are. No idea what I'm going to do with those. This is, without any doubt, the biggest tower case I've ever even seen, let alone had. Okay. What the size of that fan? That's a fan in the side of the case. That's awesome. And there's another one. Just as big. Right there. Huge. All sorts of connectors. With the stuff up here at the top. Another fan back here. Another fan here on the top. This thing's coming with four fans. And at the top, there's uh, vents that you can open for additional cooling. Alright. And of course, came out of the box early. The book that comes with it. Alright. I'm going to go through this and work out 
where all these need to be connected to on the motherboard. Now we'll get started putting this thing together. All right, I've gone ahead and laid this thing on its side and uh, unbundled these cables and uh, set them off here out of the way. Now there's a bit of hardware that comes with it, assorted bolts and screws and standoffs and such. And the first thing to do is to get the uh, standoffs in place for the motherboard. Which is basically these little screws. I believe that's going to be one of the spots right there. And this is an ATX motherboard, so it should probably take nine of these. In fact, let's get that thing out and find out for certain. Okay. Get it out of the anti-static bag because I've made sure to ground myself. You don't want any static on these things. It will just ruin them fast. Here we are. Now let's get this cable from flopping in my way. Set this thing down here. Yes, it's going to take nine screw holes. Nine of these standoffs. And that tells me which nine. Alright. So I will go ahead and get these all fastened down and snugged up. And then we'll go to the next step. All right, now here's the first thing I've found that I'm not particularly thrilled about. While they do provide all the screws and mounting hardware and whatnot, they were loose in a bag. All these different sizes and types of screws. Personally, if I were packaging up something like this, I would take like all the standoffs and put them in one little bag. All the motherboard screws and put them in another little bag and so on separating each kind of thing out. Shipping them loose like that, it's good that they're there, but it's not good that they're like that. Now to sort them out and figure out which ones I need to bolt down the motherboard. Alright, I've got all the screws sorted out here, and I'm pretty sure I know which ones are for what. And prior to the next step of putting the motherboard in place, I need to get this back plate on here because I think it's going to be better to do it then. And by the way, that reminds me. Here's another uh, thing that's not too thrilling. This is the documentation for the cooler. Now, it's good in that it shows pictures of everything and how everything's supposed to go. Those pictures are so bloody small. If I hadn't watched videos about this thing, I would really be lost right now because I can't read anything on this page. It's too bloody small. So, back plate goes on here. And let's see. There's the cooler hardware. I need these four big hairy standoffs. And let's see. Okay, there's one.
There's the other one. There's two more that needs to go on. I need to put these nuts in here. Like so. Going carefully because I'd rather not strip them out. I'm going to have to go fishing for that one that fell in the box. the right place. That's exactly where it goes. Okay, I'll be back when I get them in place. Okay, got those bolts in place finally. Now, they provide this little uh, nut driver thing you can, you can use with a screwdriver. I'm not going to use it because I actually have nut drivers. And it's just snug these things down in a star pattern to evenly distribute the force. And I should probably mention, before anybody gets the idea that this is a tutorial, that this is not a tutorial. This is me putting this thing together and hoping it'll work. So, nothing about this video was tutorial at all. You want tutorials? Search them up. You'll find plenty of them, plenty of good ones. Many of which I watched. Okay, that's all bolted down. And now, we're ready to bolt this sucker down into the tower. And this oh wait a minute one little thing I forgot should probably put the back plane on There. All right. Okay, back plane is not quite aligned right, so I need to take this out of the way. 
see if I can fix that. I had one computer a few years ago that uh, the backplane proved to be such a pain in the butt to install that I opted not to use it. Let's see how this one turns out. Fan wire out of the way. Alrighty, isn't that special? Alright, I have to move some of these set screws that I put in. At least one of them for certain. I dislike working with tiny, teeny tiny screws like this. Because I have large hands. And this one's a sort of almost tight space that I can't see what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Okay. Okay, the screw all the rest of the screw holes are lining up. So I will now get screws bolted down into them. All right. Motherboard is in and all bolted down and everything. And this sucker I understand it. It's through here like that. And then these four bolts on this connect into those standoffs down there. But of course, that can't happen until the CPU is in place. So we'll go ahead and get that opened up. I like the way they package that. Okay. That up. That comes out. Okay, now the trick here 
Let's get the right orientation here. And there's a couple of notches on the side of this. I don't know if they show up in the video. Alright. There. That's in place. Another thing that will have to be in first before putting the cooler in is the memory. Because from what I've seen in videos, the fan actually hangs over the memory. Yeah, slots two and four need to be used because I've only got two of these. memory in place. All right. Let's see. We'll snap the fan off of the heat sink initially. So I get everything fastened down. This is just a dry run. Yeah, like so. And that's going to be tricky to do, so I'm going to shut the camera off and get it out of the way. All right, there. CPU cooler is in place. Fan is reattached. The next step, I think, is going to be to go ahead and get the power supply in. No. There's a whole, along this uh, one edge of the board, there's a whole mess of things that need to be connected, several of which need to connect to the front panel on top there by this great big bundle of wire. So I'm going to hook up to that and then put the power supply in. That way I'll have a little bit more room to work. And that's going to take me a few minutes. Okay, I apologize for the lack of lighting here, but I don't even care anymore. <laughs> the thing is fully assembled. Power supply is in place and the power is routed through various locations to everywhere it needs to go. I've got hard drives in place, DVD-ROM in place, and the uh, graphics card and I've hooked up the monitor and the keyboard and mouse. I've got all the fans set up except for this one here which will plug into the uh, this connector there will plug into the the door fan. And uh, now up on the top of this thing fan speed B and fan speed A two separate fan speed controls. Now I've got uh, a set up to the fan that exhausts out the top and the back fan and fan speed B is going for the one that's in the front and the side door. Speaking of which 
I'm going to go ahead and get that put on and crank this thing up and see what we get. Well, there's no mistake in this thing when it's turned on. None whatsoever. And it is working. Now, to spend several hours setting up everything. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here. Listen to the